And uh, we've done interviews with the Rougeau brothers, and uh, I know you guys had some matches with them, so I'm just wondering if you could give us your uh, opinions on those matches and what it was like working with them. Well, they're both friends of ours. I don't think that we had, I don't think we had the chemistry, uh, and you know as well as anybody, you, you have to, has to be give and take in the matches. It can't be take, take, or me first for a good match. It's got to be equal with all four guys and the referee have to be involved in it. And they're, not that they aren't good workers, just the chemistry wasn't there. We didn't, I don't remember coming back to the dressing room saying, wow, that was a good one, you know. And do you, were you guys around during that whole thing between them and the Bulldogs? We were, we were in the building at the time, somewhere, you know, big cow palace or whatever. And there's a million people at yeah. TV, so and you hear you're things. You're eating and you're doing, we heard about it. Now, what took place before, don't know. I mean, the, the Bulldogs were kind of jokesters and pranksters. And maybe a prank went overboard, I don't know. So I guess the dressing rooms in those days were a little different than they are in the WWE now. Well, the dressing rooms then were separated. You know, there was baby face dressing rooms. There was a communal area where you would have cafeteria, but you didn't you didn't mix and match. I mean, you were in separate parts of the building. Right. And at one time, I mean, if you were uh, smoozing with your baby face opponent, you can get fired. That's changed now, I guess. So. Mm 